it, growth of uh, tax revenue has been gradual. Uh, I mean, it, since the time of uh, President Kibaki when it used to be about uh, 400 billion. But now here you have a president who wants to grow it by 50% in a year's time and to double it in the next uh, five years. What are the chances of success and how should he go through this process of uh, making those people that are not paying tax today to start paying and feel comfortable without um, uh, some bit of resistance? You know, President Kibaki was very lucky. Uh, a lot of Kenyans volunteered to pay taxes, even those who did not do so. And one of the ways of doing it is, uh, first of all, um, encouraging Kenyans to love their country. Uh, and also, uh, you know, to be patriotic to the, to the nation. Uh, and uh, those who are making incomes which are not being disclosed, they disclose, they, uh, they, they, they take the necessary measures with the Kenya Revenue Authority mm -hmm. to be able to be accountable to pay taxes so that they can uh, build their country. Because there are, there are very many business people who should be paying taxes and other individuals who don't pay taxes. So President Kibaka was very lucky to get that goodwill. And we need goodwill from the people. The people will only give goodwill and will want to pay taxes. When they know that once they pay taxes, uh, the money is not going to be misappropriated, it isn't going to be stolen, it is not going to corruption, and it will build the nation. I'm sure everybody wants a good road to their rural home. Everybody wants electricity and water in their rural home. So we, we and, and Kenyans love their country. That's why they have been very patient. That's why despite a very highly contested election, mm -hmm. which is 50-50, <clears throat> uh, Kenyans who lost felt it was time to, to move on and uh, build their nation and uh, wait for a better day in the future. So, so first of all, we have to grow as a country. And all those people who are employing and uh, uh, people who are you know, they are, pay, uh, are supposed to be paid taxes so that we make sure whatever employees you have, also they have their share of paid taxes and they have to be disclosed. KRA has no capacity to follow every single individual in the country. Mm -hmm. and there are very many people starting their businesses and escaping from paid taxes. So I, I, I believe you, you need that trust. You need to create trust uh, to the government so that you know this government are paid taxes too will actually deliver services to me. And uh, uh, that cannot happen out of um, empty talk. Okay. Kenyans need to see uh, uh, services be delivered. And um, uh, for, for that to happen, the government also has got to invest in systems to help create new businesses. And the young people are very creative. They are already working online. Uh, a lot of those workings online uh, are not be taxed. There are very many Kenyans working online, and uh, you, you have to bring the nation to that level whereby whatever is electronic, whatever is online, is also captured uh, so that uh, it can happen. But the goodwill has to be there from Kenyans themselves. Uh, they, they have to love their government, they have to want to support it, and I believe if we do that, uh, a lot more will happen. But so, so, so what begins?